Hello, good morning. Mobile communication has become an inescapable necessity. Mobile communication has improved all walks of civil life and society and is growing very fast. Let us see how the most commonly used mobile communication, the GSM technology is used and how it works today. The most commonly used mobile technology is GSM, the Global System for Mobile. The key elements of GSM technology are Handset, BTS, Base Trans Receiver Station, MSC, Mobile Switching Center, BSC, Base Station Controller, HLR, Home Location Register, VLR, Visiting Location Register, and SIM, Subscriber Identity Module Card. The frequency channels are uplink frequency band of 890 to 915 MHz, downlink frequency band of 935 to 960 MHz. There are 124 channels of 200 kHz each. Mobile handset contains hardware and software specific to the radio interface and a SIM card specific to the GSM network. Base Trans Receiver Station BTS is responsible for communication to and from handsets. Mobile Services Switching Center MSC is responsible for all switching functions related to call processing. MSC is the interface between GSM network and PSTN public telephone network. Base station controller monitors and controls several base stations. It is responsible for all radio interface management. Home location register is a database in charge of the management of mobile subscribers. Visitor location register contains the relevant data of all mobile handsets currently located in the serving MSC. SIM module contains phone number, service code, PIN code, status of SIM and other relevant details. SIM cards are embedded with a microprocessor. Picture shows GSM area hierarchy. Cell is the basic unit of the GSM system. A cell has one or several frequencies depending on the traffic load. Frequencies are reused but not used in neighboring cells due to interference.